on Gaza. 58 times he played for England, he was on the losing side four times. If you ignore penalty shootouts, four times Gaz was on the losing side. That probably tells you everything about him. We went to the World Cup in 1990. Bobby Robson sat us all down and said, gentlemen, we've got seven games in 90 degree heat in here in Italy. And if we're gonna do that and win the competition, we're gonna have to conserve energy. So we're all like yourselves, listening, hanging on his every word, did the great ambassador of football, Bobby Robson. Following day, I'm on a sunbed. There's a commotion going on, I open my eyes, on the diving board, gas going, bouncing up and down, giggling, has gone to the toilet, he's mummified himself in bog rolls. He can't see any of it, he's bouncing up and down. Bear in mind we're in a hotel, not just the players in those days, members of the public, everyone else. Gas coins bouncing up and down giggling. He launches himself off the diving board, swims a length underwater, the bog roll floats to the top, and naked gas coin pops out the other end, walks through the crowd, still giggling, disappears off somewhere. Got him in the Everyone around the swimming pool is laughing. That night we had dinner. Bobby, Ro Bobby Robson's I'm thinking to myself, I wonder if Bobby realises what went on that afternoon, and if so, How's he going to deal with the situation? A couple of nights before, he's delivered the bombshell. Rest, recuperation, no stupidity. Blah, blah, blah. We finish our dinner. We're in a room probably this size. He went, no one leave till I've had a word with you. We finish our dinner. Everyone's there listening to his every word. He looks out across the room brilliantly. He catches no one's <coughs> eye line and just puts the words out there fantastically. Gentlemen. There's a fucking idiot amongst us. <laughs> the incredible thing is, only the idiot was looking round <laughs> to see who it was. Incredible. But what a great thing. Let me tell you another story on Casa. I love this one. After the 91 Cup final, Gaza got injured, but he'd already signed for Lazio. So he went to Lazio, but done a year's recovery. That following year, which was in the summer of 92, uh, Dino Zoff was his manager at Lazio, one of the strictest World Cup winner with Italy, ex-goalkeeper, one of the biggest disciplinarians football has ever seen. And he's got Gaza in his squad. <laughs> so, they go off pre-season in the Italian Alps. They're on the coach going up there, they're going for two weeks, four training sessions per day. Eat, sleep and train football, nothing else. Zoff is in the front seat, reading the Gazetta della Sport, a Marnie suit, looking immaculate, digesting every stat from last year to make him and his team better. As the coach goes up, it goes into an alpine tunnel, the coach blacks out. Zoff is still at the front seat, left hand side. As they get towards the end of the tunnel, the coach illuminates. Next to Zoff is a naked gas coin in the sun. Zoff looks at him and thinks, fuck me. True story. 